Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, last time I um, just did some side questing, and then I murdered the guy who was supposed to start me on the Dark Brotherhood quest. Yes? Wow, you're tall. I'm Surotan. Have a look at my wares. I'm um, sure there's something to suit you. I, I think I got, like, um... Distracted from this. B uh, but I was just commenting on how, like, I enjoy uh, the system of... I enjoy the system in Morrowind wherein you can just have a shield on and then that just makes it so you are defended. You got a great deal there. And then you just, you know, you don't have to worry about, like, blocking, and you can just say, okay, do I have the shield on? Okay, then I, I will sometimes just avoid hit. That is also maybe the only mechanic wherein I actually enjoy, um... I'm gonna sell this. It's kind of just taking up space. I'm gonna sell this. You've made and this. I think I've already learned from these, right? This is my inventory, right? Enough. You too. Cool. Where am I at now? Much better. Um, yeah, that that is one thing where I enjoy the uh the like um Percentile and percentage based stuff in Morrowind. I'm willing to abide by it then and there. I appreciate just like greetings. Not having to ever ever worry about um What can I do? Have a look at my wares. Oh, you got I'm this sure stuff, there's huh? something to suit you. Look at it. Hmm. Look you drive up. That's more than I'd usually pay. That's more than I'd usually pay. Another. Good journey to you. Oh. Alright, I got some stuff out of my inventory. Um, so there's this mechanic in Dungeons and Dragons called All Out Defense. This is, I'm pretty sure I got distracted from saying this last time, but there's a mechanic in Dungeons and Dragons called All Out Defense, which is as opposed to All Out Attack, you just, you know, fortify up and put every single thing you can into defending yourself. So you lose, um... You lose. I think this is D and D. It might be another tabletop game, um, but you lose uh, uh, modifiers for your attack. You get a worse attack for it, but you get so much more in the means of defense. You get so much more in terms of like just keeping a guy off of you. And so, like, you're knocking his sword away with your sword. You're getting your shield up. You're you're using your armor to take hits. You're knocking him out of the way. All of that happening. It's cool. I like it. Um, so, this is a controversial choice, but to continue the main quest in this game, you must find and then destroy a Daedric artifact. Not only does this mean that you have to have gotten a Daedric artifact, but it means that you have to give it up. I've decided on Namira's ring to be the thing that I give up. Let's make a hard save, actually. You're not the type of follower Namira requires. Oh, yeah. I think I... One mo. All right. I'm pretty sure that there are ways that I can do this traditionally, but I just dumped some points out of personality using this console command. I'm willing to admit that I did that. You dare approach my shrine, child of the light? Because this you is the thing I decided on, and I think this mechanic's done. In the light of the warm, cruel sun. 
Prove to me that you deserve my favor. In anger, my forgotten have lived in peace for many years. They worship me from the dark, basking in their misery and filth. Now, though, some would seek to bring light to their darkness. Are we getting uh, Kingdom Hearts of here? Arcade have intruded upon their squalor. I want you to help my forgotten kill these priests of the light. Cast this spell upon the priests. Allow my beloved forgotten to kill the interlopers. When this is done, I shall reward you for your efforts. Make this my active quest, sir. All right. Mod PCA personality with a capital P 30. I was spelled it wrong. There we go. And now we'll make a new hard save. And we'll just double check back to 40. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that there are ways to dump your personality. Like within within the game's rules, like you can use uh, poisons or potions in, in Morrowind to do so. But I've mentioned, I, I don't even know if I agree with the idea of <coughs> saying, hey, you need to give up on this <coughs> item forever permanently to... Oh, I'm using the big one. One moat. You need to give up on this item forever. Yeah, what is it? Wow. How not very worth it. All right. Guess I'm just going to look like an asshole. This shot looks cool, but the rest of me looks stupid. Um Yeah, I I'm I'm willing to admit that I I use console commands to expedite this. I decided on the uh a specific birth sign in the first episode of this and then forgot that I had picked it and then also realized that it didn't fit with my um, play style. So I used console commands to change it for those who forgot. I'm perfectly happy to do this. Um, I don't know Oblivion that well. There's some stuff in Morrowind that I kind of had to fix with the console. Um, like early, uh, I forget exactly what it is. I killed a guy. And the guard shouldn't have seen me, but the guard knew that I had done it, and I kind of just had to deal. What enemies? Show them to me. Um, and it was annoying, and I'm like, I would have rather had just been able to do that quest normal style, but I kind of had to... Um I kind of had to just hack... I mean, I say I had to, but I didn't have to do anything. But it helped to expedite the main quest. Because in addition to... Okay, can I put my... Jeez, it's dark in here. Oh, the gauntlets that I'm wearing have their own limit. Protect and keep these wayward souls. Oh, wait. They don't even know that I'm evil. Can I just triple check what I'm doing here? Because I, I took a swipe at him and I was like, mm. Use the spell Namira has given me on the priests. RK, bring light to these. Light! No! 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 Mira! Hark! Help no. us! Hark! The light! Find the light! Save me, Lord! Cool! Help us! Light. Hurts us! Forgotten one, forgotten one, and another one. 
Ooh, aqua silk robes. Oh, cool. I can put my stuff on now. Troy. Kill it. Hurts us. Hurts us. Kill it. Alid cask, interesting. The Alids are one of the ancient progenitor races of um, light of lights. Other elves. Oh, this is fifty nine. Oh, but it lasts one hundred twenty seconds. So I should. I didn't need to use it twice. Cleanse this darkness. So RK is the anti the most anti undead god, I believe. Ooh. If I'm remembering right, he's the most anti undead god. He hates undead the most of all of them. Kill it. Um and I think Namira is Namira is the Daedric Prince of Rot. I enjoy how the Daedric Princes have um various depictions like sometimes they'll be male and sometimes they'll be female i think that's cool okay oops wrong guy okay bring hope to the hope okay protect these souls what's the description on this spell it just says it does the shroud on them does that aggro them? Does that weaken them? It'd be cool if it strengthened Namira's guys, but it weakened everyone else's. Whoops! Sorry, I was aiming for the ghost, my man. Let's load whatever that is. Wouldn't really anticipate Namira to be all, uh... I keep wanting to say she, but I think the voice that spake to me was, um, masculine. But to my knowledge, Namira is typically a female? Actually, I don't know, because I know that all the Daedric uh, princes are like, they're whatever they want to be. Like, I think Boethia is typically male in almost all of their depictions, but I think of Boethia as being a female, um, prince. By the way, can I just say, work. Light from darkness. Hope from hopelessness. In RK's name, I pray. Come on. RK. Light of lights. What? No! Can I kill you? Is that fine? Ah! All right. It's getting annoying. Okay, cool. Because I found that first guy, like, relatively quickly. Here we go. No. Oops. RK. Light of RK. Jump him. Yeah, Namira is like rot and decay, I think. I think that's their uh their thing. The light burns. Save me, Lord. The light. Namira. It burns. It burns. Save. I feel like the Daedric quests are really good in Skyrim. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm fairly certain that there is like almost no equivalent to the Skyrim like destroy the Dark Brotherhood quest. 
And like, I think that that's a cool quest. I love that. The idea of like, no, I don't want to do your quest and you kill them and then you, it turns into you taking them down. Now granted, there's like, oh, all of them? Word. I'm still going to explore because like, you know, I, I, I don't want to miss stuff here, but I wonder what happened to the rest of them. Kill it. Burns. Oh, Pain. maybe the ghost Namira. is. Oh, yeah. Looks like the ghost got to them. Skeleton guardian. Namira. Hurts us. Can I Burns. please Pain. help us? Burns. The light. Kill it. The lights it burn. burns. Pay. Burn. Help us. Kill it. Hurts us. Kill it. Help Kill us. It. it burns. Is that? Does that do anything for you guys? No. Burn. Yeah, no. I remembered how to yield. No. I remembered because it's just a really weird mechanic, you know? Yeah, get him. I'm the tank. We all good? We all good? Everyone's alive? Great. I wanted that ectoplasm, and also I wanted the pleasure of killing a ghost. How can you not love killing a ghost? Uh-huh. Is this those little Dorta befores that Skyrim became so famous for? I probably brought it up already, but like, my dad, almost without fail, upon encountering one of those little doors in the Skyrim dungeons that take you right back to the start, he'll shake his head and he'll go, I should have gone through that one. You know. What is it, boy? My cat's a meowing. All right. Pardon me, I know that this is impacting my LPing, but. <laughs> Sir? Oh, it's just a wolf. Why you gonna why you gonna make him make sad dog noise, man? I'm almost certain that I've bitched about that in the past, but I'll do it again, damn you. Okay. Heal wounds. And let's go on then. You know, if you weren't such a if you weren't such a little prissy cat, you could maybe sit in my lap while I play. I've got a big lap. I know that the, that my gut certainly negatively impacts that, but my thick thighs help add to the lap. You know. Besides, my gut's going down. He probably doesn't want to sit on it because I've um I'm cold. Um, I took an ice bath today. I don't know if I've brought that up, but I take ice baths. Uh, with the occasional frequency. I see that oblivion gate. I'm not going to go in it. Waste of my time. Um. There we go. Now we're making some headway. I know I could quick travel, but I do want the experience of running there. I don't literally mean, like, the EXP of running there. I mean, like... I want to do it. I want to. I want to walk it. You know. Nice. All right. We're almost there. But yeah. Um. In terms of killing the Dark Brotherhood, like, I I know that I'm getting way less content for having killed the Dark Brotherhood as opposed to having, um you know, join them and done that quest line. And that is the case in, in Skyrim as well. Like, you do miss out on a, on a chunk of stuff to do. You get, like, two quests instead of, like, nine, I want to say. And the quests aren't particularly long. Um, 
but it is really cool to kill the Dark Brotherhood and to stop them. You have cleansed my followers' perfect darkness. The forgotten are free to wallow in their misery. Are they pro wallowing? Take my ring. Let it bring pain to others who would wish it upon you. Namira blesses you. I know that I'm trying to play good ish here, but. You know what? RK is not one of my gods. You know? I'm a Dunmer. I hold stock with a three good Daedra. Ooh, nice. I don't give a shit about their gods. I hate those guys, in fact. Namira is pleased, foul one. Oh, you're May ugly. your days be. The ring guides us all. The one ring. So, Elden Ring's about a ring, of course. And I got blown up by these dudes called the Night Cavalry. And I learned that, in case it wasn't obvious enough, that these big black riders who chase you in, you know, consort of the ring that the game is about. In the game's code, the horses that these, you know, the night cavalry ride are called Nazgul. Like, it literally, I mean, I assume that it reads, you know, like, Nabuguru, because uh, some of those letters don't exist in Japanese. But, like, come on, it, it fucking says Nazgul. We know that you like Lord of the Rings, Miyazaki. We're well aware um, sorry, I'm talking about Unring. I literally just started it, um, and, like, it's a bit of an adjustment to go from Elden Ring to Oblivion, but both of those games are pretty, like, really solid. Um, like, Oblivion's a little ugly, and I am having some troubles running Elden Ring. Um, just because, you know, so new in HD. My aging hardware isn't keeping up as much as I would like, but it's still good. Um, what am I, let me, uh, let me hit a little travel quick here. All right, so yeah, um, but yeah, Elden Ring is a really good, like, how do I put this, like, marriage of, of its two, uh, writers, because it is very much a George R. R. Martin thing, because there's so much shit in it that, like, is so Georgie, you know? Like, big, unethical, evil, magical sluts. Textbook George R.R. R. Martin. Um, like, events called the the Night of Black Knives or whatever. References to, to obscure things like the Golden Order and, like, just all that shit. It's very George R.R. R. Martin. Hey, but one thing about... Um, one thing about can I can I add some stuff to your stack here, my man? One thing about George R. R. Martin um, is that like he didn't write too much of it that he ruined it because sometimes he does this. They can stay there. Will I get in trouble if I? No, cool. So can I... Yeah, so all these add together to increase my skill. So does that show anywhere? Does it show, like, effective skill is now, like, I don't know, 35 instead of 30? I don't know. Um, yeah, one thing about Dark Souls is that all the games were, like, essentially... A zombie apocalypse just in a medieval setting instead of a modern one because most people do modern um, modern zombie stuff nice it's what I wanted It's very much like George R. R. Martin just wrote one of his George R. R. Martin things. And then he handed it over to Miyazaki. 
and then Miyazaki did his Miyazaki things. Where he, you know, put everything that Miyazaki likes in it. And he just, like, they added them together, you know? Like, in the way that you would have, um... Like... What do you need, friend? I don't know. If you had, like, Chris Claremont and, uh... Grant Morrison collab on a comic book, you would have all of the things that both of them like in it. It's very much like that, of just... This is a product of its two authors so, so hard. Like, it's just... George R. R. Martin wrote backstory... And then he gave it to Miyazaki, and then Miyazaki did all of the things that he likes in his games. I figured out another item needed for the rich. The second item is the counterpart to the first. The, the blood, blood of, a divine. of a divine. This was a terrible puzzle to me. Unlike the Daedra Lords, the gods have no artifacts and do not physically manifest themselves in our world. That is true, sir. I know How that's correct. How then to obtain the blood of a god? But Joffrey solved it. The blood of Tiber Septum himself, mm -hmm. who became one of the divines. From when he was this is Tiber a secret Septum. remembered only by the blades, passed down from one Grand Master to the next. Joffrey should tell it to you himself. Interesting. One thing is, is that I do actually like um, Tiber Septum. Because um, I mentioned, I've gone on record, I don't like the Imperials. I also disagree with a lot of their portrayals. Because in some games, Imperials are like. Roman guys, they're just the Roman Empire. But in this game, they're almost more like, you know, traditional European fantasy stuff. Like, there's way less Roman influence. Um, and also, I think it would be cool if they still actually had the, the jungles that they're supposed to have. Um, but I digress. I do actually like Tiber Septum. I also like that no one can agree what the hell he was supposed to be. Because as Tiber Septum, he's, of course, the founder of the Septum Dynasty and the Empire... So, and the Empire is predominantly, you know, the race called Imperials, of course. So they're like, yeah, he's our cultural hero. But as Talos and a master of the Thuum, of the voice, the Nordic, you know, traditional weapon, Tiber Septim as Talos is a Nordic hero. Uh, and, and also Talos, his name as a Nord, is the name typically used for him as a god. As far as I remember, like to clarify, they usually are like Tiber Septum as the man and Talos as the god. And that's his Nordic name. But then most actual genealogical records show him as a Breton, which is a different you know race altogether. Like the only thing that we're sure of is that he's not a red guard because red guards are from a different continent because they're, you know, they're fantasy black people. Um be sure to speak to Joffrey about the armor of Tiber Septim. Oh, we're going for the armor, huh? Like armor of Godimus? Of the Mysterium why is that what I... Why, why the fuck is that what I go to? <laughs> um, I'm going to resave it here, and then I'm going to cut the episode, because I have to go to the bathroom. Um, but I'm having a good time. I've been Alfred. This has been Oblivion. I hope you have, too. Um, I hope you don't mind my gushing about Elden Ring. Uh, and I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed. Um, so have a good day, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.